Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on cosets in group theory of discrete mathematics course. In the previous video, we are already discussed about so what is the definition of coset, what is the definition of left coset and the right coset with some examples and what are the properties of cosets that can be discussed in the previous videos. If anybody wants, please refer that video because it is one of the most important concept in gate examination point of view and PG set point of view. Okay. Now, in this video, we can go for one important example problem. Find all the left cosets of subgroup H where H can be defined as set of 0, 2 in the group Z, plus 4. Here, plus 4 is nothing but addition modulo 4. So, this is the operation that can be performed on the elements of Z. So, addition modulo 4 can be performed on the elements of Z. So, then Z contains 4 elements so yeah, that are 0, 1, 2, 3. We already know that. So 0 mod 4 is nothing but 0. 1 mod 4 is nothing but 1. 2 mod 4 is nothing but 2. 3 mod 4 is nothing but 3. 4 mod 4 is nothing but 0. So now we are getting the elements set of 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so H is already given. We are already finding out the elements of Z. Now, we have to find out, we have to find out all the distinct left cosets of H in J as follows, as follows, okay. First of all, I am taking element 0, okay. 0 belongs to J, okay. So, left coset means, so 0 is an element of J, so 0 is combined with all the elements of subgroup H. So, we are forming the left coset with the addition modula 4. So, 0 addition modula 4 H is equal to, okay. So, 0 is combined with all the elements of H. So, 0 addition modula 4, 0, comma, 0 addition modula 4, 2. Okay, so here 0 plus 0, that is nothing but 0. 0 mod 4 is nothing but 0. Next, 0 plus 2, that is 2. 2 mod 4 is nothing but 2. So, here we are getting H. Okay, next, I am taking the next element 1. So, 1 is an element of J. Okay, so 1 addition modula 4 H. So, here 0 is exist at the left hand side of H. Then it can be treated as left coset. Here 1 is exist on the left hand side of H. Then it can be called as left coset. Okay. Now, 1 is combined with all the elements of H with respect to the addition modula 4. So, 1 plus 0, 1 addition modula 4, 0. Next one, 1 is combined with 2, that means 1 addition modula 4, 2. Okay, so then what is the result we are getting here? 1 plus 0 is nothing but 1, 1 mod 4 is nothing but 1. Next one, 1 plus 2, that is nothing but 3, 3 mod 4 is nothing but 3. 
So what we are getting? Set of 1, 3. Next, I am taking element 2. 2 belongs to Z. Okay. So here 2 addition modulo 4 H. 2 is exist on the left hand side of H. Then it can be treated as left cosec. Element 2 is combined with all the elements of H. So 2 is combined with 0 with respect to the addition modula for 0. Okay. Next one. 2 is combined with uh, 2 with respect to the addition modula 4. So then what we are getting? So 2 plus 0. That is 2. 2 addition modula 4 is nothing but 2 mod 4. That is 2. Okay. Next 2 plus 2. That is 4. 4 addition modula 4 is nothing but 4 mod 4 is nothing but 0. Okay. So that is equal to 0 comma 2. So that is equal to H. Okay. Next I am taking the fourth element. That is a 3. 3 belongs to Z. Okay. So 3 Addition modula for H is equal to element 3 is exist on the left hand side of H. Hence, we can say that it is a left coset. Okay. Now, element 3 is combined with all the elements of H. Okay. So, 3 is combined with the 0. 3 addition modula for 0. Next one, 3 is combined with 2. So, 3 is combined with 2. Okay. So, then here 3 plus 0 is nothing but 3. 3 addition modula 4 is nothing but 3 mod 4. 3 mod 4 is 3. Next one. Here 3 addition modula for 2 is nothing but 3 plus 2. That is 5. 5 mod 4. 5 mod 4 is nothing but 1. So that is equal to set of 1 comma 3. Okay. So here we are using all the elements of Z. First I am taking 0. Next I am taking 1. Next I am taking 2. Next I am taking 3. Okay. For each and every element of Z, we have to find out the distinct left cosets. What are the distinct left cosets? Oh. The distinct left cosets of H in Z are first I am taking element 0 belongs to Z we have to form the left coset, then we are getting H. So that is, so 0 addition modula for H. Okay. Next one, I am taking element 1 that can be formed with the left coset, then we are getting the elements set of 1 comma 3. So that is 1 addition modula for H. Next, I am taking element 2. So, 2 is combined with all the elements of H as a left coset, then we are getting the same H value. So, here, here H we are getting, here H we are getting, so that it is not a distinct left coset. Okay, we have to ignore that. Now, I am taking element 3. Okay, we have to form the left coset by combining all the elements of H, then we are getting set of 1 comma 3. Here, here we are already getting set of 1 comma 3, here already getting set of 1 comma 3. So, duplicate value we are getting, so that it can be ignored. Only these are the two distinct left cosets we are getting. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your 
friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so develop srinivasa rao